I had to get a haircut. Gorilla Glue Challenge. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My past videos have talked about trying to save money and make coffee, but I haven't talked about why I was inspired to create this channel. Also, I think this channel could use an intro video. I started this channel to document my journey to go on vacation in France, but as of this time, I have no money saved up. Literally. Ultimately, I want to go to the Palace of Versailles. I'm going to document my journey to save up enough money to go to France, and hopefully, if everything goes well, I'll document myself traveling in France. If everything doesn't go well, then I'll be documenting my attempt to go to France. If you want to follow my journey, please hit that subscribe button. This channel idea came to me when I was watching YouTube during the summer of 2020 during the shutdown. The huge shutdown made me realize that there is more to life rather than working as many hours as I could. Also, my hours were reduced dramatically. Since my hours were cut, I had an abundance of time to think about other things that I wanted to do in life other than work. Prior to the shutdown, I work many more hours per week since it takes money to maintain a lifestyle. Some months, I would work several 16-hour days for several weeks in a row. I've always thought that this is normal as, well, I have bills to pay and a dream to live. I didn't have enough time to think about what I wanted to do outside of work before the shutdown. Having all this time off during the shutdown made me realize that I really wanted to travel and see other places sooner rather than later. I've always wanted to travel to France, and I even took a couple of semesters of French in college. I don't really remember any of it, though. Earlier this year, in January, I made the choice. Not a resolution, because New Year's resolutions are cliche and always seem to be broken, to take enough time off, work, and to save enough money to go to France without getting back to working over 10 to 16 hour days to make ends meet. The events that occurred in 2020 have made me realize that I should make my health a top priority and I want to make money in a healthy way. No more skipping leg day at the gym for me or skipping going to the gym to go to work instead to make money. I realized that life is a fleeting thing and that I want to have more experiences instead of possessions cluttering my home and overflowing into my storage unit, which is actually kind of pricey. Since I want to be as healthy as possible during my time in France, I think that learning how to save money and cut expenses would be optimal. I don't really know how much about personal finance, as I've always thought that as long as I make enough money, I should be fine to get whatever I want. Also, it seems to be harder and harder to save money with all the expenses that you have, such as a mortgage and other expenses like food and cars. I spend most of my money on housing and food, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, kind of. And those expenses are more than a little important for living. Hopefully, there are other things that I can save money on and eliminate some frivolous spending. I've already started with changing my coffee consumption habits, and you can watch that video The first thing that I did was watch a YouTube video from a hopefully more knowledgeable YouTuber. You can learn almost anything on YouTube, seriously. I learned how to build a computer via YouTube videos because I was not used to having so much free time that I needed something to do. In retrospect, I should have saved the money so that I could go to France, but that was hopefully the old me. Hopefully, YouTube can help me save money on my trip to France instead of spending it on computer parts that are already outdated. Seriously, one of my friends who's interested in high tech 
As said, the graphics card in my computer is already outdated, even though I bought the parts like six months ago. That's crazy. Hopefully my memories of France last longer than that. Anyway, that's enough digressing. I don't want to make an hour-long video, especially for an intro video to my channel. <laughs> if you want to follow me along my journey, please subscribe. Also, please like this video since I've heard it's good for the YouTube algorithm. Let's make sure to keep the YouTube algorithm healthy. We don't want to have the YouTube algorithm get sick. That would be not good. Thanks for watching, and comment down below if you have any money-saving tips that could help. Thanks.